If you've ever looked at ancient Roman sculptures, you may not have noticed that hair or may not have given hairstyles a second glance. But one Maryland woman who spends her days cutting and styling hair finds antiquities not only a fascinating subject, but also a scholarly one. And then the most sophisticated tools of ancient Roman hairdressing were the double bladed scissors, which were um, a kind of the high tech, this was sort of the iPhone of cutting technology in antiquity. Uh, so this would have been a very expensive tool for an, a Roman woman to have. Janet Stevens is describing the tools needed to create the fashions of yesterday. A hairstylist herself, she first became interested in researching ancient Roman hairstyles while visiting a Baltimore museum. And I saw this one hairstyle of Empress Julia Domna. Had no idea who she was, but she had this rocking hairstyle. And I thought, wow, would that be profitable as a bridal hairstyle? So it was a purely venal choice to start trying these things out. Stevens' contribution to the antiquities is often seen in modern hairstyles around the world. Instead of using hairpins, needle and thread were used to create elaborate hairstyles. My research explained the preponderance of very large gauge bone sewing needles found especially in women's contexts in antiquity. And it, I showed that many very sophisticated and complex hairstyles that appear to defy gravity could be easily made if you sewed them together. Stephen spent countless hours studying ancient hairstyles and even learned German so that she could read scholarly texts in the foreign language. I had to learn German because so much of the criticism is in German and so many of the, the common beliefs about ancient Rome uh, were established by German um, research in the 19th century. And I gradually and eventually ran across a Roman glossarian called Sextus Pompeius Festus who had just one line on the etymology of the word needle. And he said, um, acus dicitur qua sarcinatrix vel etiam ornatrix utitur. And that means that which the cloth mender and the hairdresser use is called a needle. After determining that ancient hairdressers used needles to sew, Stephen started experimenting. Not only could I create Julia Domna's hairstyle, I could create any hairstyle that I ran across as long as I could figure out how the components wove together. If I stitch it together, I could make it. And pieced together, she did. Stevens has since published her work in a Roman archaeology magazine as well as with the Smithsonian. And you can see more of Janet Stevens' ancient Roman hairstyles by logging onto YouTube and searching for her name.